Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to show you how to install the DLSS 3.5 mod for Starfield and this is my second video I'm making on this and the last one which I made I gave away some misinformation in that so I'm going to fix that over here on this one. So we go to nexusmods.com Starfield Upscaler Replacing FSR2 with DLSS or XCSS mod. I'm going to leave the links in the description below. So you're going to come down here and go to file tab and you're going to want to download either of this one the standalone or the reshared version of the starfield upscaler now the reshared version comes with a sharpening filter or a slider which you can use to sharpen your images and the standalone version does not have any sharpening filter on it and also the, there is another problem with the reshared version that is it conflicts with the steam overlay your Steam overlay may not work when you when you use the reshared version of the Starfield Upscaler. So go ahead and download whichever you want. I'm going to use the reshared version. So I already have it downloaded. I'm not doing that. Now next, once you have done downloading, go to the description of this page. Now come down on this page and under installation, you should see in the step two Upscaler base plugin. You right click that and open that on a new tab. Now this is going to take you to a different page of upscaler base plugin once again i'm going to leave the links in the description now we go to the files tab of this and download the upscaler base plugin and for you it might be a different version of this this is a 1.1.2 for you it might be different depending on when you're watching this video so go ahead and manual download that and once you're done downloading go back to the description of the upscaler base plugin page and come down here under description you should find dlss dla and a link to tech power up open that up so go ahead and download the dlss 3.5 mod i already have it now this is where i made the mistake in my last video that you don't need to install dlss 3.5.1 for rtx 20 or 30 series gpu only downloading dlss 3.5.0 should work fine on rtx GPUs on any RTX GPUs, let it be the 20, 30, or 40 series GPU. DLS 3.5 is compatible with any of these cards. Now, the only thing is that DLS 3.5 comes with frame generation, so you won't be able to use frame generation option on the 20 and 30 series, but if you're running a 40 series, you can enable that. But otherwise, it should work fine with 20 and 30 series as well. Now, once you're done downloading those files, right click on your start field on Steam. Go to manage, go to browse local files, and this should take you to the installation directory of the game. We also need to open up where we downloaded our files, the mod files. Now this is where I have all the mods downloaded. There are some few other mods as well in here. So we're gonna focus on the upscaler reshared version. You can use the standalone version as I've said. So open that up and it's an archive or a zip file. So we need to copy all of these files over to the main directory of Starfield installation. Now it's asking me to replace because I already have these files. So I'm still going to go ahead and replace. It may not ask you if you are doing it for the first time. So once done, close this upscaler reshade. You can go ahead and do the same thing for the standalone version. There are two, just two files, one folder, one file. You just drag and drop that over here. And once you're done, you can follow up the next steps for the standalone version as well. It's, it's pretty much the same. So up next, you open up the Upscaler Base plugin. And over on the directory side of the game, you go to the Mods folder, open up the Upscaler Base plugin folder, and you should see a PDPRF plugin. In the zip file, you just drag and drop that. Once again, I already have this file, so I'm just going to replace as it's asking. Now don't go back, we have to paste this NVNGX DLSS as well, that is from the DLSS 3.5 zip, you open that up and drag and drop that and replace it since it's asking me, it won't ask you to replace. And once done, we are actually done with all the modding stuff and we go inside the game to try it out. So once you're in game guys, go to the settings, go to display settings in game and make sure you turn on FSR2 upscaling and I'll shut the sharpening to 69 and then we go to the render resolution and you uh, set it to around 69, 65 or 70%. This is where DLSS quality comes in and, and then on your keyboard, you need to press the end key and then this should pop up 
and you press on enable and this is what it's gonna do it's gonna enable DLSS if DLSS is selected down here and then you can press end again on your keyboard and that should remove that dialog box so now we are using DLSS instead of FSR2 but even in the game settings it does say FSR2 but it just replaces FSR2 with DLSS 3.5 and you will not notice any FPS gains at all those drops aren't coming back almost anywhere throughout the game but what you will notice is there are lots of less shimmering going on like for example over here if you if you notice the shadow every time you want to run a tour it's it's fine now on DLSS but if I turn off DLSS and go back to FSR to disable DLSS you just need to click this and it should disable DLSS and take it back to FSR now as you can see there's that shimmering again right now, at the center of the screen of the shadow me, i'm gonna re-enable dlss and there we go it's, it's a lot less now a lot less shimmering okay guys now we are back at new atlantis now as you can see around that uh, railing area it's very shimmering on fsr2 currently now if i turn on dlss And there we go, it's a lot less now, more like completely gone. Like 90% of the shimmering goes away if I turn on FSR. Now most of these shimmering issues are present at the railings or the edges. Now let's find some more examples. Now there you have it, right on that building, right there. You can see the shadow, shimmering shadow. Now we're gonna turn on DLSS. and there you have it it's all gone much much better now but yeah there is some shimmering when you move your uh, mouse but while static it's mostly not there but it's much much better when using dlss now that's gonna be it for this video guys i hope it helped and i'm sorry for the mistake which i made in the last video but as you can see it doesn't make much of a difference even when using dlss 3.5 instead of 2.5 it's pretty much the same but even if you use DLSS instead of FSR it still doesn't give you any gains whatsoever and it's just a better image quality overall so be sure to drop a like guys on the video and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys on the next one until then enjoy playing Starfield it's